Ja, dann ähm, herzlich willkommen. Ich bin Katrin Jentjens und äh, wir freuen uns, äh, dass wir heute die Gelegenheit haben, die äh, nächste Festival-Ausgabe The Prequel vorzustellen. Und äh, da wir heute zwei Gäste zugeschaltet haben, ähm, die Englisch sprechen, werden wir jetzt im Folgenden alles auf Englisch ähm, äh, besprechen. Und falls es da Nachfragen oder Übersetzungsfragen gibt, äh, fragen Sie gerne nach. Ähm, und Sie haben natürlich auch die Gelegenheit, nach dem Gespräch äh, Fragen zu stellen. Ja, uh, welcome um, to the press talk this morning. Uh, we are very happy to introduce the concept and ideas for the prequel, which is taking place from July 4 to 6 this year in summer. And uh, yeah, it's a pleasure to introduce the panel today. Uh, we welcome the mayor of Monheim, Daniel Zimmermann. Um, we welcome Shannon Barnett, the musician who is part of uh, the next edition, and of course Rainer Michalke, festival director. Um, and uh, switched on live, uh, we are very happy that we made the connection to the two of the curators uh, of the curatorial team. Jessica Hallock from New York, uh, it's very early for you Jessica, uh, we are happy uh, that you are part uh, of our press talk. And um, and even earlier for Rainbow <laughs> Robert from Vancouver. Um, so um, yeah, um, both of you are here and are uh, talking later about the curatorial ideas. But I first hand over to Daniel Zimmermann. Okay. Okay. Thank you for the well introduction and and welcome. It's also a pleasure. Um, for me to um, well start the presentation of um, the second tour of Monheim Triennale with the prequel. Um, everybody in the city of Monheim is very excited um, um, that um, yeah, we are hosting the second round of the Triennale. And um, yeah, as you might know, the city of Monheim is very focused on cultural education. Um, Monheim is uh, the city where 60% of all elementary school students learn an instrument, which is a quite high rate compared uh, to other cities or regions. Um, we have um, a lot of um, 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 activities for young people in our local um, municipal school of art and um, a famous German contemporary writer named Ulla Hahn has uh, grown up here in Monheim and her like parents house um, is today used as a, a center for um, young people for literature and and writing so uh, with this focus um, on um, uh, cultural education um, um, we well from the very first moment intended uh, the Monheim Triennale not to be a festival that has concerts that could be played or shown anywhere else. Um, but we always tried to um, create a um, very close connection to the people um, here in Monheim and also to the young uh, generation. And I want to say thank you to the team, uh, to Rana Michalke and the curators, and also to the artists that they, from the very beginning, have accepted this concept and this idea. And um, yeah, in, the, in the first round, of um, Monheim Triennale, we have already experienced um, a lot of wonderf wonderful activities involving, um, actively involving young people and also adults here from, from the city of Monheim. Um, we have, um, well, have a lot of um, concerts where artists um, try to um, also get a feeling for the place, for the city, and um, the prequel is supposed to be um, the opportunity for all artists to get to know each other, of course, in um, the first priority, but in second priority, also to get to know the city. And um, this makes the festival uh, something special, something very connected, closely connected um, to the city. And this is what I'm also looking very um, forward to in uh, this second round that we will have a lot of opportunities to interact, um, to have um, not only collaborations, collaboration projects between the artists, 
but um, well, between also citizens and, and the artists. And um, yeah, I also want like to wish uh, all the artists and um, um, the team, the, organi the organization team, good luck for um, this edition. And um, I'm also looking forward um, to answering your questions. Yeah, <coughs> now it's my turn, right. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, also a very warm welcome from me. Um, yeah, it's standing up in early in the morning and, and learning about the escalating conflict between Israel and, and Iran makes, makes it a little bit unreal than talking about a music festival. But um, putting this by side, um, I'm very happy and very proud to, to announce the, the new prequel the new lineup for the prequel, and um, we don't know whether music is is a, is a is a healing force or whatever it is. So we don't know, but um, if we can, if we can do something from our side here, we try to do our best. Yes. So the prequel, the story of the prequel is, in short, um, is 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 a is a child of of the of the uh, of COVID of Corona virus. Um, so when we when we were forced into that situation, we we changed our original plans, and um, the original plans were to have 16 artists coming with their signature projects to Monheim, and um, in this time it was 2021, right? So we had a lot of troubles to um, to get people on the plane. So we decided just to focus on the 16 artists without their bands. We called it the prequel the workshop edition of the Monheim Triennial. And it was so fun, even for the musicians, so they liked it all so much that we decided to make it a regular part of the Monheim Triennial. That was not, not the original plan. That was a, a new plan that, that rised up in these years. So, and we were very happy to, to have the people now as a regular part of the Monheim Triennial, which has changed then from an original planned every three years festival to a three years period with an event every year. And um, I'm very proud to, to, to present um, at the, and um, still I'm very proud to present a, a, a world collection, a, a world selection of one of the finest, some of the finest artists in the world. And what we can promise is that is by far the most diverse selection of musicians of contemporary music of today. And uh, today I want to focus a little bit on the, on the let's say, on, on, the, on the development. How come? How was, how was the, 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 the artist chosen? And um, I had a great help, a great support by our curational team, by our curational board. Five um, wonderful human beings all over the world um, helped me to, to find these 16 artists for the prequel, for the final festival. And um, yeah, some of them are here present with us. Some others are, I think, outside listening to us when we were talking. Um, and it's, um, yeah, I'll just introduce them. So it's, it's, it's uh, Yoko Asanuma, Japanese um, promoter, journalist, and curator. Um, we have Louis Rastik. He is director of the Alarm Festival in Berlin, um, my favorite music festival in Europe, beside Monheim. And um, we have Thomas Fenker from Cologne. He is publisher teacher and lecturer. And yes, they were already announced. Rainbow Robert, very, very early in the morning in Vancouver. And Jessica Hallock from New York, also very early. Not that early, but also very early. So we all together, we, we did a long, it was a long process about finding these 16, 16 artists. So, so we, I, wanna, I don't want to bother you with the details. But one thing is very important to me to, to tell you is you know from my experience in in in, in very in, in many juries and and committees, so the result was always that the chosen ones 
um, were the ones who got the most votes, who got the most confirmation. And at the end, so you have a selection of, of what is in the mainstream, and you miss the, the edges. So and, and that's, that's what I always experienced. And um, we changed that system in the way that every curator has one or even two, let's call them wild cards, and they could put them on the table, and there was no, no, no story, no discussion. So if a curator said, this is my favorite artist, I want to go for him or her, go. So there was no, you know, there was no, so all the other curators, if they said, no, don't, don't, uh, no, absolutely no. So if one say, this is my one, go for it. So this is a very, very, very important um, thing, change, because it, it, it allows edgy, edge, edges, a profile. Otherwise, you have always the same in the middle of the road. And this is, this is a procedure. I think everybody loved it, hopefully. Yes? Yes? <laughs> yes? yes. <laughs> um, so, and the final result was, I think, the, the, that's, that's the result is, is an incredible, diverse um, collection of, of musicians. And when I say diverse, it means diversity in, in any, in any, in any, in any, in any way. So it's, it's, about, it's about origin, gender, color, uh, instrumentation, any, any diversity what is possible is, is displayed in, in these, for these 16 um, um, artists. Um, now, who to start? Um, I start Rainbow, would, would you be the first one? So I, I already introduced you. Um, Rainbow, you, you had uh, some musicians on, on your list, and uh, maybe tell us a bit about the ones who made it on, on, from your list in the final collection. Absolutely. Um, so on the final collection, um, we have Darius Jones, uh, based out of New York. And I'm particularly excited because in the brief that Reiner gave us, he really put forward the vision for us to identify some of the artists who most strongly bring forward what is most exciting about what's happening in the moment right now. And um, we happen to have selected Darius in a time where he has just hit the peak of his career, which will hopefully uh, continue to ascend. Um, but he has come out with a beautiful album, which also has a Fluxus tie-in, which I think is beautiful um, given the tradition in Germany with Fluxus. Um, this album is a, and this project that he's been doing recently um, is particularly exciting to me because um, it is featuring a Vancouver band and I'm coming to you from Vancouver today. And in fact, um, when I first met Darius over a decade ago, uh, the first thing I said to him is, you need to hear the string players in Vancouver. And um, so many years later, he put a band together with these string players, and it ended up bringing him to the apex of his career so far. And uh, it's a truly beautiful project. But aside from that, the important thing is that we were able to pick individual artists rather than bands for this. And it made the curatorial process really special and really different. Um, the whole way that we select uh, was based on the, the artistic beauty and voice of the individual artists. So that's something that made the curatorial process very unique. Yeah, <clears throat> thank you. Thank you, Rainbow. Jessica, it's your turn. So you had, I, I know you, you had two favorites on your list, right? Eddie I, and Yes, Landis. absolutely. That's correct, yes. Um, both very different artists, um, but also both people who fit really well with the, the format of the Trianala. And we talked a lot about the ways that the prequel kind of changes the sort of person who you would want to have involved. Also, um, the investments in time and relationships are different than what you get at other festivals. Um, obviously, by definition, a festival involves, are all of you still there? I can't Yes. <clears throat> okay, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. By definition, by definition, festivals involve having artists together in the same place, right? Um, but at most festivals, those people aren't really playing together. They're all sure all of the artists and musicians are there, but they might not even see one another perform. They're on different stages, they're in different places and everything else. Having this prequel, having this 
this format and allowing all of these artists to actually meet and collaborate with one another uh, is both just a totally different relationship with time and uh, and generative work than you see at other festivals. But it also means that, you know, you want people who play well with others, people who are going to be fun to bring into a group of people and uh, and meet different individuals. And for me, I was also thinking in terms of people who do lots of different things. Uh, Unia Eddie Kwan is an incredible artist in so many ways, uh, just a virtuosic uh, violinist. She's also an amazing singer and dancer and performance artist. And recently, uh, whenever we, uh, actually, Reiner, you were in town then as well, when we went to see her performing at National Sawdust, turns out that uh, she is also a, a percussionist yeah. and was creating these really uh, strange shamanic operas with lots of uh, different performance and ritualistic elements in them. Uh, an incredible singer, yeah, amazing. Uh, Selenda Sebastian Alexander Johnson, who I was very excited about, is she, she's very new on the scene. She just graduated from college a couple of years ago and suddenly started showing up all over town with these bizarre projects. It might be a weeknight at like a, you know, the anarchist record shop <laughs> or whatever, and she'd be bringing in a 25 person big band to play the Black Panther music of Cal Massey or doing weird trombone duos with trombonists playing into one another's bells or uh, she's she's a vibraphonist and trombonist who also often has a uh, forget what they're even called a megaphone she'll use a a megaphone and be reading texts while doing just all sorts of things always different always new um and they're both really lovely they're both both composers and improvisers, and uh, and I'm I'm really excited to have them meet everyone and see what kind of amazing things people make. Yeah, most tricky question: What is the artist you're most looking forward to? Rainbow. What is this? Is the most I know, but you know, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm particularly excited to see what Julia Ulela will do in this setting. Um, she's the other artist that I've selected and um, she when she came to Vancouver she um, was doing her uh, uh, doctorate in ethnomusicology at the University of British Columbia and she was coming out of a theater tradition actually and she hadn't she was really finding her voice as a vocalist and she did something really exceptional as a new person in a city where I had been curating for 20 years. She brought together the most exceptional group of artists in the city and really came forward with something that is historical um, based on the traditional folk songs from her Morovian grandfather um, in Czech. Um, but then she brought together a beautiful uh, group of Vancouver artists, each of whom brought something very special to the project. And it has everything from delicate beauty to absolute all out wrathful self-expression. Um, and the way that she has grown in the time that I've seen her perform um, is absolutely exceptional. So to see her in a setting like this, where she'll have an opportunity to really flex her uh, significant improvising uh, strengths and muscles will be quite amazing. She also loves to bring ritual into her work. Um, so it will be uh, really inspiring to see the way that the environment that she's in shapes her work and the way that she interacts with the environment and brings something very special to the city. Thanks, Rainbow. Um, Jessica, one question. Uh, this is your first triennial experience, right? So yes. Rainbow, Rainbow is, is, has been also greater in the first triennial, so it's, it's your first one. What, what was your experience? Um, you, you might have expected something, and what, what is the outcome? What is your, your general experience of the, of the curational process? I, I've really, everything about this has been a very different experience than what I would have expected. Um, I, I think the, so is the question about the curation process or about just the whole experience with Monheim as well? Um, whatever you want. I think either way. <laughs> I mean, just the amount of, the amount of involvement and interaction uh, and presence and engagement in the Town. I mean, I live in New York City where the idea of the mayor being involved in 
um, an actually like thoughtfully curated music festival is, is actually unimaginable to me. Um, there's not an investment in art in that way. Um, and granted, the United States has that problem in general uh, in, in a lot of in a lot of ways. But just to have gone there, you know, I, whenever I, I went last summer for the sound and just to be, you know, to be going around doing a walking tour of the town with the mayor and having everyone speaking really thoughtfully about music together and having this level of engagement with the people living there, being able to walk around and look at the art and talk to locals about it. It's just a different kind of experience. Um, in terms of the, the curatorial element, I'm a big fan of lists. I love to make lists. I have many you know, lists of, and so getting to, yeah. <laughs> and so getting to, uh, getting to sit down and, you know, put, putting together my own lists of the, the best artists that I know of uh, anywhere, you know, performing right now, and then getting to look at other people's lists as well, just wildly exciting. Um, and I think also just to speak to the, the comment about Rainbow having been involved before, but this being my uh, first experience with it, uh, it's kind of wild to me that I'm working on the same curatorial team as someone who has, you know, accomplished and done as much as Rainbow has, but it's been helpful thinking of it in the same way that we, whenever we're looking at the artists that we're putting together for this as well, it's like what, what this is about is about finding people at whatever stage of their careers or levels of professionalization and preparation and experience who, um, who are tapped into what's going on right now and who have something who can, they can offer in, in terms of, uh, in terms of their knowledge of this art and their contributions. And so, yeah, it's also really exciting for me to get to be involved with people who, uh, who I really respect very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jessica. So, um, turning to my left, Shannon. Hi. So, welcome. You're great that you're here. Uh, it's also your first experience with the Monet Triennial. Yes. So, I guess you have some expectations. And what, what, what is your, what, if you look to July, upcoming okay. July, what do you expect? What is your idea? Well, part of me doesn't know what to expect. Um, first of all, thanks for the invitation to be part of the Triennale. Um, I'm so excited to meet these other artists, most of whom I don't know, haven't met before. Uh, and as Jessica mentioned, this opportunity to uh, at first get to know each other musically and personally is something that I've very rarely experienced um, yeah, at other festivals or in, in my career in, um, in general. So to have this opportunity to really um, work on things together and discover each other's uh, music and art is, is incredible. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and also, yeah, I mean, working towards something without having a really specific goal, because often you will get, come together with other artists, but there's always, oh, it has to be this presentation, it has mm -hmm. to be this. And there's so much freedom as part of this um, triennale, and that's what I'm really excited about, to see what we'll, what we'll come up with, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah, great. I'm still waiting for your, um, for your list of, 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 your, of your potential partners. <laughs> the, so the, the process we are now in is that, that I ask all the, all the artists to send me, uh, um, yes, to send me a list, a list, a list <laughs> uh, of, of other potential artists that they would like to perform with or play together with, or get in touch with them directly. Mm -hmm. And I'm still, now you can still tell who is, uh, who might be, uh, who might be on this, from this other 15 uh, the ones you're most looking forward or most interested to perform with together? Um, yeah, that's a very difficult question know, to answer because I, know, yes. um, I certainly haven't narrowed it down in any way at this point. Um, and I think, yeah, I'm hoping to, I really am hoping to, to, to meet each and every one of them and to be able to make something that's happen. I'm sorry, but it's true. Yeah, sure, okay, it's absolutely great. true. Um, yeah, so you'll have to come to the festival in July to see what happens. Okay, I will. I will, <laughs> I will, I will come, I'm sure. Yeah, so I'm, I, I have a bookmark cool. in my schedule. Nice. Yeah. yeah, so in fact, so we have a lot of, yeah, so, so also to me, so the whole process of, of finding these 16 was a, was, a, was a very adventurous journey because I learned also a, a lot of, if I one short story about one specific artist, um, it's Ganavaya Doris Varmi, 
so I, I, I never had heard her name before and no idea, and it was Shazad Ismaili. So that's also a thing that we asked our former artists yeah. uh, from the first triennial to, to give us names or to give us ideas who might be an interesting match for, for the triennial. And Shazad said, um, Ganavaya. And I said, yeah, okay, good. Where can I hear her? Or is she, trust me. And I said, yeah, yeah, so, but I'm, I would love to get more, you know, to trust me. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, is there any chance to trust me? Okay, so, okay I, trust you. <laughs> I trust you. And, and then it, it happens in, uh, in, in Knoxville by Big, at Big Ears Festival uh, in March recently that I, she was not announced in the program. I just met her um, on the street, but just, just by chance. And I was, you know, it was just, so we, we just had um, these, these video things together, but no, no meetings in person. So I met her on the street, gonna why, it's you, yes. What, you, yeah, I'm invited by Shabaka for, for performing. So I said, mm, okay, when, tomorrow, bijou, okay, good, so. And it was, so she saved my no, big ears experience. So that was so great. I can promise you there is some hidden gems in the program, or some, or everybody's a hidden gem, but there are voices um, in any way. So that really uh, um, challenged me to, to, to see what's out in the world. This is so big, it's so beautiful what's happening, and that we have such an um, interesting collection of, of artists. Yeah. Can so, I jump in there for a second? Absolutely. I love, oh. I, 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 uh, yeah. yeah. I just, yeah, I want to say that I think that it reminds me of a really good point. Like, I think it's so great to work with these fantastic curators because what's difficult these days as an artist is to be able to show yeah, everything that you do um, and to reach people and say, I do this, I do this, I'm interested in all of these things because you're often just shouting into the void uh, online yeah. or whatever. So, um, yeah, to have been chosen for this means a lot to me because I know I've also been chosen not because I'm, I'm mostly known as a trombone player in a lot of settings where I've been um, working for the music of others but I'm also many more things than that and I think all of the artists here are that as well so to be seen in that way is really incredible and that I think only comes about when it's been organised in such a way with such a great um, curating team so that's I yeah. just wanted to mention that yeah. um, So Rainbow and, and, and Jessica you're always invited to jump in jump in so if you I would, please, I would love to add something about yeah. the curatorial process. Yeah, please do. Um, uh, just to add to what Shannon was saying, I mean, there are a number of things that are really special uh, about this event and really unique on a global level, and the curatorial model is one of them. Um, the unique backgrounds and perspectives uh, that are brought by each member of the curatorial team are something that has been deeply inspiring to me. Um, it really represents a beautiful cross-section of the global music community and people who, a number of different people who spend their whole lives researching this music and immersed in this music and traveling the world and bringing all of these people together um, to put together their shared perspective is something that's completely unique after uh, decades of curating. Uh, looking at this type of a model that's been put together is something that makes this um, absolutely sublime. And really seeing the world and the sound of the world right now through the eyes of the fellow curators is something that's uh, very, very special. Um, I have to also echo Jessica's comment about what it was like to explore the lists that were put forward by all of the different curators, because none of us, even if we spend our whole lives researching this music, can know about everything. So to have a group of people from New York, Berlin, Vancouver, all bringing forward their knowledge and inspiration, um, uh, I think allowed us all to learn so much more about what we care about the most, which is the music. Um, and when we got to the point of completing the program, it becomes difficult. You know, you think about the idea of what are the 16 most exciting things that we could bring forward? It's almost impossible. How can we even make this decision? But stepping back from the program and then seeing it when it was published, just thinking, oh, this is, we've really accomplished this goal. 
Um, and uh, the artist that Rhina was uh, referring to is a great example from Big Ears. I only discovered her since the list was completed. She was at the top of my list of artists I wanted to see, and I almost didn't recall that she was on the list for the Triennale. And when I saw that she was, I thought, oh my gosh, we have really um, done something very, very special together as a group. Yeah, same happens to me when I, when I saw Eddie, Eddie at the, at the National Sawdust, you know? I was, oh, we did it right, right? So we had a, so we were, so that was that was a good that was a good one, yeah. So um, thank you for your for your for your input. Um, I think we are, so we after in, in the at the end you you are free to 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 ask us some questions. So we're looking forward to this. Uh, before I just want to, to announce another another um, uh, news. It's a sort of news. I've um, I've met um, uh, Mika Kaurismäki in, in in Helsinki in in November, uh, talking with him about about making a documentary about the prequel, um, because I, I I've learned his documentaries. So the first one was about Mir Miriam Makeba I saw in a festival um, some years ago, and uh, he's I, I liked his way of, of 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 making documentaries about music about musicians. And um, and surprisingly enough, when I when I asked him, he already knew about uh, Monheim. I was okay, um, okay. So and and he agreed immediately to to come uh, to Monheim, and and with his camera and to shoot the whole process. And we're looking f very f much forward to this because a good documentation from from a person who really is into music and loves music. Is something I think very interesting. Yeah. So that's this is um, um, that was the 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 my part. Now I want to ask Achim Achim Tang. So we and this is uh, Daniel Zimmerman already announced that that Mona Triennial is not only about inviting international artists. It's also about community, about reaching out into the community, having the artists um, and here in the town already before. The prequel, and also in all, all over the year, to have them here and doing something with the local community. Achim. Yeah, we heard so much uh, about um, the unique, the unique things in Monheim and the special things in Monheim. And I think this is one also very special thing here: the emphasis the city and the festival puts on working together with people in the town and uh, international artists. I, I had the great chance to be here since 2019 and, and um, kind of care for this, try to make this process happening and then help developing these things. And we will also on the prequel have several uh, cooperations with, with groups and with, with uh, people from the town. Uh, I don't want to uh, talk about them all this too much. I just want to mention two shortly. One is uh, working together with our friends from the Zoyo Sieben, which is the social cultural center here in town. Very important place that, that uh, holds a lot of creative energy. And we will have a, a workshop on the first night, kind of an electronic jam session, performance party, in the middle of all these formats. So we don't really know what's happening, but it's going to be interactive. Everybody can play, everybody can dance, everybody can just hang out. I'm really looking very much forward to this. It's a format which is act actually developed in the social, in the Soyo Sieben, <coughs> and we just ask them to open the doors for us. Thank you for that. Uh, the second one I want to mention is, is a collaboration which goes on for, for several years with the Otto Hahn Gymnasium. In this case, we have the uh, one of the choirs. They have several choirs and a choir uh, where we work on Julia's music, actually, um, uh, Rainbow. <coughs> so this was a very interesting process, too, because um, as you can imagine, going with this mu coming with this music and uh, confronting the children or young people with this music is not always easy. So we ca we came. I came in with all these songs, and in the end, they brought songs too. So we we had to, or we wanted then to to kind of you bring songs, she brings songs. So it's a real collaborational process, which already uh, goes on for several months and will, which will continue. For, for another two or three months and, and then finish in a concert on Friday on the boat. There's just two of, of several other activities and um, I can only say I'm looking very much forward to, do, to the whole festival then. Thank you. Thank you, Achim. I, I haven't announced you very properly. So you're 
artist in residence in Monheim. You're living and, and, and working here since five years and are a, a great, the great, our great, yeah, bridge into the city, into, into all these, these activities. And, and I can only say one more time that this, do, to have a chance to, to have do this in such a long, uh, um, ongoing process. Usually, well, I did this work for a long time, but usually you get a uh, project for one year. This is already long maybe for half a year, maybe for one and a half years, but that's already very exceptional. And now I'm here since five years, which opens so much more up your, uh, possibilities, because you, you build a network, you, you, you get to know people, and uh, for a festival and for the city to, to uh, make this possible, I think is very, very special and cannot be uh, wertgeschätzt enough. <laughs> 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 I uh, cannot come up with the uh, right word, thank you. What is Wettgeschätz? Appreciate it. Uh, Appreciate it, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think now is the time for, for questions. Katrin, what is, um, how is the... Yeah. Thank you, Achim. Um, I also just wanted to invite you to post questions. And uh, if you have a question here in the room, you uh, I invite you to just use the microphone so that people in the stream can also hear you. And um, people who are now part of the stream and want to post questions, they can write into the chat. They have to just be logged in into the YouTube channel and then you are able to, to post the questions. So is there a question in the room? Any question? Um, hi. Are there um, artists or maybe even curators that already uh, work together? You already told us that Shazad and you already know each other, or you haven't you haven't worked no. together. No. Um, is there like a connection that you might didn't know about about like artists that already work together, or are there like artists just artists that never have worked together before? The, yes, uh, thank you. Yeah, it's it's all over the place. So there are some artists that really know each other very very well. So um, what, what I learned in the process, you know, when I was talking to them and asking them what would, would be your favorite match, you know? So um, let's, first, let's say Darius and Shazat, you know, uh, they are buddies, you know, so they both looking forward to meet, to meet up. But Shazat is everybody's <laughs> buddy, so <laughs> everybody knows Shazat even, e even if he or she has not played with him, you know? Everybody wants him, Every, because Shazad is, is, is it's, a, it's, I don't know what, what, what makes him, I know what he makes him so spe special, but he is very special. So, um, so and, but there are other musicians, they, they are a little bit, don't know, so because we, I was talking about the edges, you know, there's some I, outsiders, let's call them, it's, 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 if you do it on the, on the positive side, if you make a, a positive connection, then an outsider could be a good a good position, and there are some of them that are coming from outside of, of the of the of the game and and finding their way. And and this is also from the ones who are in the middle to find the way to the outside. So there are some connections, some musicians that are or artists that are not very well known. Others are very well known. For example, everybody knows Heiner Goebbels here in Germany or in Europe. In America, it's it's not the case. So um, he's not that present in in America. He doesn't have this importance, um, but it, it's very interesting for me to see how how he, he is is incre incredibly curious about the others, and they are also at the same time. So the all the sixteen I can say all the sixteen are very curious musicians, artists who are looking into the others, and some of them, and this is very interesting, tend to yeah to look for the ones they already know, and the others uh, want to play with the ones they never heard before. That's uh, interesting that you refer to Shazad because he was the first uh, that came to my mind when asking that question because he's so open-minded and he wants to do yeah. things with everyone. And I asked him like in the last edition uh, what like was the great learning and he o also told me that it, it's so beautiful to meet all those people and there's a connection right away through the music and through like personal things and that's what makes the Triennale so special. So it's yeah. like... I'm that was also curious about what will happen. Before. Exactly. That was also the reason to re-invite him. Usually, it's not my. You know, usually I don't do that to re-invite an artist for the next festival again. So, but the, the, he, he's exceptional. So I made this exception because he was so important for the first edition, yes. 
because he he is the 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 the, the person that yeah that brought all, in all even the outsiders he he, he took care and um, in a way I need it I need him for um, he can do things I, I never can do so he is he's capable to to bring people together on a very 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 nice very nice way and he is and he's he was I can I can't tell you how 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 he reacted when I asked him to come again to come back for for the next journal you know I, he was <laughs> very very happy with it so he liked it very much the idea I agree <laughs> thank you so much are there any other questions I would like to know uh, or and learn something about the curational process as such. Curators have the job to make decisions. <coughs> and what I heard was they did it in much agreement. Have there been cases where they disagreed, where they dropped someone from the rooster? Uh, or has there been even conflict? <laughs> sure. I won't tell you the names, but yes. <laughs> uh, yes, we had a, well, I don't know how many, how many conferences we had, you know? Because it's it's quite easy to do that on 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 on, uh, an, uh, on a digital way. So we had a lot of conferences and to get the, the, the group of people smaller, you know, to the final sixteen, there were the long list were some hundred names, and to bring them bring it down to sixteen um, was a was a very hard process, and I can tell you it was not a democratic process. That was a, when, uh, that was my first word. This is not a democratic process. I'm the director. I make the final decision. But, but you know, as mm, as I like democracy, you know, I, I like and also like to make everybody happy, you know, <laughs> and and feel good with the final result. So we we discussed everything, sure. But um, yes, there were yeah there was concerns. You know, somebody was supporting an artist or was announcing or or suggesting him or her. There were some others who said, oh, I had heard him or her recently, and I was not that much convinced. That happens all the time. That, that's the process of bringing in everybody's experience. But all these, all these curators are traveling, so they're all travelers. They're visiting festivals all over the place, all over the year, all over the world, and they made their experiences. And, and what we're producing is, is live performances. We're not into records. We don't... We don't we take we don't take any any decisions from from a record production. We only take our decisions from the live performing, and we need to see to see artists on stage. This is this is all about the, the thing. And if uh, anybody was on a festival and has seen an artist and came to the conclusion, hmm, let's wait a year, or we are ten years too late, or whatever whatever it is, that is the, that is the <laughs> that was our talk all the time. To f yeah, to, to distillate the final 16, how relevant are they in the year 24? So, 2024. So this is the, that was the, the question, always. And hopefully, you never know, because it's so big, so we, we could put 100 artists on the list, so. And they all are good. But it was the idea to find the very good, right? Some more question. So how much time do they actually have to find the artists and then put the whole lists and then you go through all the lists, check them, talk about it. I mean, now you have the artists and it's, in, it's very soon as the date, so they don't have a whole year to find them, right? Yeah, so hmm, when did we start, Jessica? When? When was the I, was I was actually just trying, as that question was being asked, I was thinking, when did we start this process? And I, I actually don't even... Long um, time ago, right? So we had time. A, it was a while back. And also, I think that many of us, just given the kind of work that we do, kind of already had our own lists <laughs> in a way. You know, I obviously, you know, I wasn't part of this before, but you know, lists of artists who I would love to work with or hear in different contexts and that kind of thing. Lewis is also, I mean, I love lists, but he's Lewis, a, yes. he's a, the, you know, the list maker of the list makers. And so, Hello, you know, Lewis. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and yeah, so I, I think that in a way it's not like, you know, it's not like it was like, okay, there's X amount of time to go find these artists. It's like, 
all of us already had so many dozens and dozens of people that we were excited to imagine in this context uh, and and to suggest and to debate. Um, and so there were a number of conversations over time, but we definitely, most of the, I would say that most of the artists, I think, you know, we had heard by the time that these conversations started. And so it was more about just how do you winnow it down when there are so many incredibly talented people. Yeah. Thank you. Are there maybe any questions also from the chat? Or if, do you have a question maybe? Uh, you can give it to me or you tell it to me and I can see. Yeah, so there's one question in the chat and it's asking actually about the site because the person remembered last time the press talk took place um, at Goldener Hans, and now we are in a different place. Maybe, Rainer, you can... Okay, about the place? Yeah. Uh, 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 about this okay. site. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, and yes. maybe also about the site where yes, the where prequel is going to You can see the lake if you are <laughs> on the stream. Yeah, this yeah, is I just wanted to say it looks like a painting behind you. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an actual, <laughs> it's absurd. And it's not, it's, 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 it's true. So yeah, we, we are in our beautiful uh, um, res residence. We call it the villa. It's, it's a beautiful, um, nice house from the 1950s. And we renovated it very carefully and brought it back to the, to the original um, state. And now we are here and it's a, it's a, we use it for several purposes. So it's a residence for, for artists who can stay here, live here and rehearse and, and do whatever they want. And we also use it in the meantime now also as our as our, let's say, headquarter. We have our offices here. And we do press conferences here and concerts. house concerts. So Shannon recently played here with, together with Achim, a very good uh, duo concert. So we do several things here. And we, yeah, and, the, and there's uh, the lake. Now I can, yes, thank you. So, because I have a control uh, <laughs> screen here. And the lake is true. It's, it's uh, the Greisbach See. Um, and yeah, and we're looking very much forward to the summer. Um, maybe we can use the lake for, what swimming. can you do with the lake? So swimming, <laughs> swimming, diving, whatever. So it's a beautiful lake um, in the middle of town. Maybe I can just add yeah, please. that swimming next week won't be possible probably, but next week we have a house concert actually. All right. So um, yes. we want to introduce Yeah, you. so we have, is it next week already? Yes. Yeah, oh, well, great. So we have next week, it's on Saturday, right? Yes. Ah, yeah, this is, this is the one you, you really should, should keep an eye on. It's, it's Ingrid Laubrock, one of our artists from the first triennial. Uh, she is playing a duo with Marta Varelis. Um, so we have also a piano here. It's now, where is it? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's gone over there, okay. So usually it's here, now we're here. Uh, so it's a very nice, a very, very, so very strong, very great musicians coming to, together for the second time they played. Um, they played a gig in, in New York at uh, iBeam, I think, so the two of them, Ingrid and, and Martha. So, but they do it again, so here, which is really something very special. So I keep an eye on it next Saturday, is it? Saturday, 27th at 1 p.m. Yes. yes, yes, thanks for reminding me. Okay, any, any other questions? So I'd like to... Thank you. Uh, now we go over for drinks and uh, some small snacks. Uh, so if you have other questions, we can maybe also talk um, later. And we'd like to thank you also to Jessica and Rainbow. Thanks for thank you. being thank with us. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Also for standing up. Yeah, Very happy to be here. <laughs> Maybe just um, Pleasure. a small announcement also from my side from today on. We have opened uh, the possibility to buy day passes also. So if you don't have a ticket yet, you can choose between the festival pass or the day, day, day ticket from today on. Thank you. See you soon. Thank you.